are you right now? Little boy around you. No freaking way. Mount Julia police say a mother did not know an 18 year old man was living in her attic. <laughs> I need to know what I'm up against and if I could be in danger. Evil, like the worst evil you can imagine. But here on the first floor, I mean, we are getting major, major activity. Oh, the alarm's going off. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. No, no. Something just came running up the steps. Validate to us that you're inside this house. Hope it gave us the highest. I our light went out and shut off. Whatever's in here is strong. Very smart. No way. Are you out there in the living room? I see you. Josh. Jim, are you up here? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Put your hand up. Put your hand up to me. Behind you. Whoa. harm you guys. Bad things are gonna happen to you. Burn you, Josh. Holy sh**. It just said freaking burn you, Josh. You're not gonna survive tonight. It said you're gonna die. <laughs> How do you know, Bree? That was so loud. Who was that out there? Can you hear it? Yes. Who's out there? Can you hit something for me, please? <gasps> no freaking way. Oh my God. La Llorona is found wandering near the riverbanks like right here in the Bosque, crying and trying to find kids to snatch and drown. For three months, we were sleeping with all the lights on. I got scared. So no, we need to get to the bottom of this. We need to do something. Scratch Lola. Oh, oh my God. God. That's not a shadow. There's a man in my house. That's when I knew I had to get you guys. Now I know for sure. I was so scared. You're not gonna run, they're at both doors. I want you guys to be extremely careful. It's in that room. I swear there's a portal. 666, no freaking way. I fear for you guys. Bitter cold temperatures expected, possibly wind chill temperatures in the negative 30 degrees. If you don't have to be out during this weather event, stay home as much as possible. I really, really, really do not want to go back here. But I'm going I made that sound. No effing way. This thing loves death. Loves it. Death. Non-stop. All around this. Go oh, on! Whoa! Oh. Loud back there, Sean, with you. Hello? Hit something for me. Oh! Hey! Oh, Josh is nuts. Get in here. Okay, we're gonna wait. Hurry the up! Holy! Can you reach up and touch Josh's hand? Here. There's something in here. We don't know what it is. There are demons. 
No way. Whoa. Feels like there's spider webs on my hand. Holy sh And we've seen shadow figures. You hear loud bangs down in the basement. You'll be up here and it'll like shake the floor. You can feel another presence down there and you constantly feel like you're being watched all the time. You can break things inside this house. What else can you do? It felt like somebody was in that room. What was that? Go, go, go. Gosh. Fox, it's coming. Witch, close. No way! It's that freaking Sean. The greatest trick the devil ever played in the 20th century was convincing everybody he didn't exist. What happened to you afterwards is, is always indicative to me that something's real. Come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fight this thing! dark, evil, or wicked spirits inside this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We need to fight this thing. That's me. We command that you leave. The devil sees you. If the devil's inside this house... Come forward. Why do child spirits stay behind? Okay, I found this on the web for why do child spirits stay behind. Check it out. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. You didn't take Cecil with you, okay? You didn't take it. Get rid of these freaking bad things that are afflicting to us. Dream, believe in strength. Now I'm the only one. Oh, I want these things out of here. There's more than one. I, <gasps> I was a child. You guys. Until I broke the rules, my life destroyed. Don't oh, fight me, mother. What's up everybody? Josh here with Paranormal Nightmare TV. We are about ready to wrap up 2023. My brothers and I wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has watched our episodes this year. This year alone, we have received over 31 million views, which is absolutely crazy. So a big shout out and thank you to everyone who has supported us and taken the time to watch these videos. We would also like to thank each one of the families who allowed my brothers and I the opportunity to come into your home and just to see if we could help you guys get answers and bring closure to your haunting. If you are new here to the channel, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. That way, every time my brothers and I upload a brand new episode, you guys will be notified. We typically try to upload every episode Friday night, 8 p.m. We have one of the best live chats so if you're new here hit the subscribe button make sure you show up every Friday night 8 p.m. as most of you guys know 2023 was packed full of some scary ass moments a lot of Sean screaming and running for his life with a little bit of controversy sprinkled in so tonight we're gonna look back at some of the scariest moments for us and also the episodes that you guys voted your favorite episode. Please make sure you watch till the end because we're gonna give you a sneak peek of what's to come in 2024. And I promise you, you will not want to miss this. And again, thank each and every one of you guys from all over the world who has taken the time out of your day 
to sit down and watch our episodes. The three of us greatly appreciate it. Hopefully we can get out there and help some more families because that's what it's all about for us. And we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you guys and enjoy the look back at 2023. Say thank you to everybody that's watched and supported us throughout the years. Some scary times, some emotional times. Just want to say thank you and Merry Christmas to everybody. And Hi, Rocky here. I just want to stop by. Thank you all for your support, your likes, your comments. Special thanks to the mods. Thank you for everything that you do on Friday nights and also when we go live. Special thanks to Casper Sight, Nick's Top 5, Chills, the 3X. I'm Sean. Mark. 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 Nice to meet you. Mark. How's it going? Josh, nice to meet you. And that one's Bella. <laughs> you doing? You probably smell my dog. I don't have no doggies, so. Oh, I got you. Yeah, they're going to go uh, whenever my wife gets here, so. Me and my wife got married September 25th of 2021, and then we ended up purchasing this house on June 3rd last year. It started up immediately. It was probably the day we got the keys. My wife took off to go get more boxes from the old house, and it was just me here alone in the house, and it's dead quiet, and you hear, I mean, as loud as I'm talking now, hey, doggy, right on the other side of the door. and. The dog looks just completely freaked out. I've seen a little boy, probably five or six years old, blonde hair. I was putting a coat in the closet, and as I was turning around, and this wasn't something that I saw out of the corner of my eye, this was, I locked eyes just like I'm looking at you right now. And he rounded the corner, and as I go to round the corner, I seen him again. And he was making another left and going into our closet. We've heard, screams coming from upstairs in Oliver's room, our three-year-old. We were here on the couch one night, and it seems like a lot of the activity, for some reason, is usually between that 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., and you heard a second scream. You hear loud bangs down in the basement. You'll be up here. I mean, it'll, like, shake the floor. Every once in a while, you'll hear a big thud, a big bang upstairs, but nobody's up there. Everyone's down here in the living room. We hear knocks in the stairwell. Anytime you go down in the basement, me, my wife Erin, and our friend Brian that's been staying with us, we have all three agreed on the same thing. That little hallway, you just feel, it's like you can feel another presence down there, and you constantly feel like you're being watched all the time. Right here is where you get the really creeped out feeling down, it, it's when you're coming down through here. Uh, we've heard knocking on the stairwell here, Hope you hear that. I sure did. And it sounded like something fell over. Hope you hear that. That's what it sounded like, yeah. This is like instantly I just get the hair stands up on the back of my neck coming up here. You just constantly feel like you're being watched. Okay, so we just wrapped up the interviews. We're gonna start our investigation. We got this house covered in alarms and cameras, especially upstairs in the basement. We were documenting some pretty crazy stuff during the day when Mark and I were doing the walkthrough. So hopefully with any luck, Something's in there right now. You hear it? You don't have to be scared. <gasps> no way. I knew it. Soon as, like I told Josh, soon as freaking him and Rocky left, stuff was going to start happening. Look. Why am I going in this room? I have no idea. I heard you earlier hit something. Can you do something again for me? There's a big ball right there on that bed. Can you move that? And you can talk into this device that's in my hand, okay? I don't know if you know anything about this or not. Would you like to talk to me? Okay, I'm going to walk around the house. 
That's freaking nuts. There it goes. You. Me what? The ghost tube said you. Don't go there. It said don't go there. Don't go where? Where is not safe? Walking. I want to walk through the house, okay? Right there. Okay. Oh my god. I think I just saw a shadow. I think it. Okay, I'm downstairs now. I just heard another voice. Holy crap, I'm scared. Go down. Stop guessing. Choked. Choked. Who is choked? Please don't choke me. Am I safe to go down to the basement? That freaking music box is going nuts now. I was upstairs and you went. That music box going nuts. My baby. My baby. It said scream, my baby. Who's your baby? Are you looking for your baby? And you think that music box kind of is what somebody may have had if they would have, you know, in the room. So, am I not talking to a kid? Is this an adult? Are you looking for your baby? There's no baby inside that room. What the hell was that? That was scary. Hello? <laughs> what in the heck? You hear that kid? What is going on here? Why do I keep hearing a woman? Okay, so right now I'm on the second floor, up in the kid's bedroom. Got all kinds of cameras and alarms in here. This is where our music box was going off. Hopefully nothing's underneath the bed. I should check underneath the bed first. Rule number one, always check under the beds. You like my bear? Okay, I'm gonna move over to the other bedroom. I want to hit a spot to where it feels uncomfortable. What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? Yes, I want to move over to the other bedroom. I'm going to find an area that feels uncomfortable. I'll leave Trigger in here for you. <laughs> Boo Buddy's ticklish. Are you touching Boo Buddy? There's anybody in here with me? My name is Josh. Do you have a name? Was that you? I'm going to leave cameras and everything rolling upstairs here.
follow you. Okay, you can follow me. What I'm attempting to do now is just walk through the house until I find an area that feels creepy. Are you in the basement? Just yes. Anytime. He's coming. It's like a, it's like a male and a female having a conversation. Okay, I'm down here. Where are you at? It is very dark down here. I cannot see you. There it is. I'm coming back in the room that nobody likes. Michael. Michael. It is so freaking dark in here. You know it's dark in here. Are you in this room? This is Josh. Who is this? Show me how powerful you are. You move stuff inside this house. You scare people. Do something to me right now. Come on, you can scare the family. You can break things inside this house. What else can you do? I'm going to shut that off right now. I come to the basement and I get this sense of anger that I haven't had throughout the entire house. I'm not for sure whatever's here is a child. Something just touched my hand. <laughs> ah! Sean! Ah! It felt like somebody was in that room. What was that? Go, go, go! Where are you at? Gosh. Yeah. Oh. Holy Jesus. Holy Mother of God. I need a second. My heart. Oh my god. We were just talking about this. I need to know what I'm up against and if evil. I could be in danger. Evil. Like the worst evil you can imagine. I'm sorry. It's true. Like, this thing is horrible. It's horrible. The images it can put into your head are terrible. Is Josh okay? No. Was that you? Wow. I heard you. Is that what you wanted? You wanted me inside this house? When we first came in, what were you talking about with me? Yeah, um, every time I see you on TV and you are praying over these people, and it got angry. I could feel it's angry. Like, oh my goodness, is this gonna happen to me? I have an appointment with the exorcist on Monday. Hey everybody, we are here. It's a cold day in Ohio. We're stocking up on our holy water. This is a very special place to us. We've been out here several times after we've had like real intense cases or before we go into an intense case. It just so happens tonight we have a case that appears to be very dangerous. So we wanted to come by here and just say a few prayers before we, um... Josh can light his candle. Hello, everybody. Okay, we've done about all the preparation we can do for tonight. Guard against this. Like I said, this lady's had three different exorcisms. Wish us luck and say a prayer and thank you guys for all your support. Okay, we'll let you know somehow how tonight goes. Thank you guys. Finally made it. We are in Lorraine, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. Getting ready to meet with the homeowner. And it does not like you. 
Me? Nope, don't like him. That's not good. Not a good sign. She said that the, uh, whatever's in this house does not like me. I don't know what that means. We're gonna set up and do some interviews, but, um, I'm gonna keep a camera recording during this time. Now she's got me freaked out because she said the spirits don't like me. So when did all this start with you? I laid on the bed and it felt like something swooped into the side of me, like right here, and I got attacked. From that moment until the morning, I don't know if I passed out, I don't know what happened, but it kept attacking me for two straight months. The only way it stopped was because I got saved at a non-denominational church. And then when they're telling you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't want to do it, but um, my head is going rapidly back and forth, back and forth. My eyes are rolling in the back of my head the whole time. My, my, my head was shaking, going like this. I, like I said, to say no, and then it started going in a circle. All the fire alarms used to go off. They didn't even have batteries in them. Maybe I shouldn't have them come. Maybe I shouldn't have them come. Something bad is gonna happen to you guys. But if it does, it's gonna happen. Scratch me, I had those big three claw marks over here. I probably still have a claw mark right here. Oh, the one picture where you can see, like, a, it looks like a handprint, but it's not a human hand. So there's never one. There's never one. This house has definitely got like a cold ass feel to it. You guys think so? Oh yeah. I got that right before you was um, doing the interview. Just set up equipment probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. The alarm and the music box up in her bedroom kept going off. I've got a camera up there now. We are here tonight to communicate with you, to find out who you are and what you want. We are here to help Marlene. Hold on. Yeah, I just heard something by that steps move. I don't, know if I don't know why I don't feel comfortable over by them steps. Sorry. There's something. It, I heard like something walking. Like it was creeping. It was the weirdest. It's up there on the steps. There's like a thud. Who's upstairs? When Marlene was here, you were setting off the alarms. Oh, did you hear that? What was it? It's like a freaking big thug. But I don't know if that was it's up. It sounded like it was upstairs. Like right above me. Who was setting our alarms off up there? My eyes are getting blurry again. It's like what happened before you did the interview. Me and Rocky were sitting at the kitchen table there, and I got like this cold chill. Then Rocky's face went blurry, and the same thing just happened right now. When you started talking about it affecting you, I started getting this cold chill, and you both just kind of start blurring out like them old TVs, where you, it's like them lines. It's like you guys are there, but you're not. It's weird. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know where it's at, but... Earlier I was, when I was down the stairs, setting up the alarms down there, I kept hearing like a, a child. Are you affecting Sean? What do you think of the priest coming out here? You know, we're going to get rid of you tonight. This is going to be the last time you get to talk to anybody. Don't be a coward. Yeah, I see walking out here. It's like I get a vibration in my body and it's freaking the weirdest feeling. It's behind, it's behind Josh. Are you in here? She said that you get on this bed. 
We want you to do something more. Validate that you're in this house. This is where you were setting the alarm off earlier. You like having us here? Come forward and give us a sign. We want you to touch one of us. That thing is going crazy. Yeah. You want us out of this room? It's setting everything off in there. Holy that. shit. It's like it's staying on that bed. Did we finally make you mad? Boy, it is cold right here. Is it? Mm -hmm. Get us back out of here and see. Hey, leave that room. Whoa. Downstairs. Yeah. Holy shit. Josh. Go. That was loud. Who's down here? Do you just hear that? What the f was that? Wow. That I heard. Why can't you come where we're at? upstairs. He was walking upstairs. I like something being moved or drugged. Josh! What? We keep hearing voices. Yeah, I heard something upstairs. Well, I heard a kid laugh, but then I heard a man when you asked that question, it goes, I am. Okay, I'm going to run upstairs real quick. Okay. John. Said John. Who do we keep hearing upstairs here? Super high EMF in this room right now. I know you're up here. Whoa. I hope my camera caught that. Something went straight across, like a black ball. Remember, she was talking about seeing a black ball up here on her night vision camera. And something black went straight across there. Are you in that closet? We're going to bring Marlene back in here in a little bit. And she's going to face you. Alarm's going off. You setting the alarm off because I'm getting ready to leave? I know that you've had other teams in here. I want to know why you told Marlene that you were going to hurt me. That I was in danger. Okay, so this seems to be the one room that we keep getting... Alarms going off and activity and stuff. High EMF in this room. You want Josh back in here? Whoa! Oh, sh shit! I just heard footsteps right in behind me. Was that you? These stairs are freaking creepy. Especially when you hear something walking behind you. We'll get down here. Leave here. No, not leaving. Can't make me. Do something, make me leave. I told you, you're a coward. Okay, so Sean just left the house. So I'm getting ready to head in. 
I will say one thing, this house is creepy by yourself. Okay, I'm coming upstairs. I'm gonna put this mirror right here beside me. Is Josh okay? Is that you? Something just walked out in the hallway out there. That was so fucking loud. Whoa. I heard you. Is that what you wanted? You wanted me inside this house? Where are you? I am all the way up to the second floor. Rock and shot her outside. If the devil's inside this house. Come forward. It really has control over it. Let's put it that way. I don't know how far this thing's really going. This thing will leave. But it's not good. I tell you that. It's bad, Josh. It's not good. We are literally out in the middle of nowhere and lost. And I mean, like, literally out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, get out of here. And if she knows you guys are here to handle business, get rid of this thing, and, and she might feel secure and safe. Yeah, there he is. Made it. Hey, Jason, right? Yes, sir. I'm Sean. I know you are. Howdy, Sean. Nice to meet you. Rocky. Well, I come home one time, the damn doorknob goes three times, a deadbolt. One, two, three. Someone took a meat, meat hook one time and just scraped the wall. He's here somewhere. Hey. hey Sean, copy. Hurry up and grab a camera and meet me at the van. Leslie left the property. It's not good, Josh. I know that. I, I got enough sense to know this ain't good. But Josh, I, I thank you guys so much, man. I really thank you so much. But he said that whenever we got here, this thing could make her react, so. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? So I want you guys coming with me. Look, she's walking down the hill right now. Way down the road. We'll, we'll pick her up. I, I can't do this no more. This thing threatens her. I don't know. She, she don't tell. She don't say. She don't tell me nothing. But she talks all to this son of a bitch thing all the time. I don't know if this is spirit attached to her from somewhere else. If this thing, this, this thing, good man. This thing is not good. I hear the thing snicker. I mean, I'm telling you what I know right now. I mean, I, I mean, you, you can ask me anything you want, guys. How the hell did you get this far this fast? Over the bank. I cannot handle this no more. This is my last straw. You know what I mean? I don't know what else to do. If this thing can move, then why ain't it? Why, I put it all around the house like five or six laps. You know what I mean? There's a reason it don't go answer to the man. You know what I mean? It don't go see Jesus, right? I think it, I know there's a reason. I mean, you can't make it cross over even if it ain't in the house. If it's, I mean, that's why I would like to have her there. To that's play. what I'm saying. Okay, so right now we are driving down some gravel roads looking for Leslie, and we have not been able to find her yet, and we are literally out in the middle of nowhere, so. I'm trying to save my family, man, and this is my last, I don't know what else to do, guys. This thing is not good. I know it's not good. Get back to Jason's house, and we'll get the interview done, and we're going to fight this thing hard tonight. So why are we here? There's something going on here. I don't know what it is. The spirit is, is hanging out. You know what I mean? It, it's like a third party. I don't want to repeat this on TV. I uh, I need help getting rid of this thing. I need this thing gone. 
This, 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 this is not good. I know it's not good. I don't know if it's the house or if there's something that's attached to her. I don't know. It ain't doing us no good. I know that. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's trying to spit us up. I don't know. And plus, I got so much in my head right now. I know it can't be good. Said, done. I don't know, man. I know it ain't good. I mean, if you die, you're supposed to go see the man, right? If you don't go see the man, there's a reason. Whatever's inside this house, we are here tonight because Leslie and Jason requested that we come find out who you are and what you want. I'll tell you that upstairs is like super dark and like extra creepy. And that's where the bedrooms are. Whoever's inside the house, come out and talk to us. You hear me? Walking. There's somebody talking. I heard walking. Are you upstairs walking? Who is the man inside this house? Who is in this house? I'm sorry, get really hot. I'm not hot, I'm just It's like a random mile. Yeah, it's like you're gasping for air. Who is upstairs with us right now? Come forward and show yourself. Hit something. Do you hear a voice? Yeah. Who comes into this bedroom at night? Who do they hear walking inside this house? I'm getting like a huge headache. Did you hear that? Go downstairs. No, don't. That was definitely downstairs. had a big wild bang come from down here. Did you not like us in Leslie's bedroom? Come on, it's time to come out and face us. I want to see what you can do. I got a huge cold spot right behind my neck. Did you hear that? Do you not like us being here? Nope. What was it? Loud walking upstairs. Are you messing with the Leslie? Are you the one that's crawling in bed? Idiotic. Uh, you are. I think you're being a coward. How can you mess with a girl but you can't do or say anything to three grown ass men? Come down here now. It's really dark upstairs. Devil sees you. Who's the devil? Are you? I want to see you. I can't breathe up here. Yeah. Is that you? No, that was in the... Is that that light? That light's way over here. No, if the devil's know. inside this house... Alarm's going off. Come forward. Show yourself. Yeah, this upstairs you get like... It's just so hard to breathe. Whoever or whatever is inside this house, come forward and make your presence known. Who is affecting me right now? I feel like I only get this feeling when there's something like super negative inside the house. Up here is a completely different feeling than the first floor. I think whatever's inside this house is being. Who is up here affecting me? 
You knew we were coming, didn't you? Watching you three. Oh, no freaking way. Is that all you can do is watch us? You can't do anything? Do not. I'll do whatever I want to do. We're here to help Leslie and Jason. You can piss off and get out of this house. Maybe. You will. We're going to use scripture. We're going to use holy water. We're going to use prayer. We're Never. going to. Yes, we will. We will command that you leave this house. We are here to save Leslie. You're a coward. We know what you're doing to her. We know how you're affecting her. You're trying to affect us so that we leave. But we will not leave. Come over here. But whatever's up here seems to be getting pissed off. And frankly, I could care less. Is this where you wanted me? I'm over here now, what are you gonna do? Where did you go, coward? It's impossible. You're gonna leave this house. Did you just touch me? I see you, Josh. <gasps> no effing way. I see you, Josh. Keep going. I don't fear you. Turn it off. Screw you, we're not turning anything off. This is our house now. Are you out in that hallway? Are you scared? I already told you I'm not scared. If you're gonna do something, let's do it. Or is that all you can do is just pick on women? Big bad spirit. Pretends to be the devil, can only pick on women. I know you're in here because it got cold in here. This one you gotta try to push through. I'm telling you, I do not freaking feel right inside this upstairs. I'm eternal. You may be, but what you're doing to this family, what you're doing to Leslie, Uncle. I want to see how powerful you can be. Are you in the hallway? I keep hearing something out in this hallway. Are you out here? Swinger Road. Sean! That is crazy. Yeah! You know what I just said? Yeah. I think we just heard that, Josh. Holy How the hell would it be saying that? I just need a second. Watching you, Jason. Can you hear him? I just need a second. That's the road that we grew up on. The road that the house was in that we went through. Move our, over. Our haunting. How does this thing know that?
just need a second. I need to walk out for a minute. I'm not feeling good. Good. Are you still inside the house, Rocky? There's something walking. Okay, guys, I apologize. I think it's hard to talk Fine. about. Yes, I am whining. The road that we grew up on was Swinger Road, the house that we went through our violent haunting was on Swinger Road. And for this thing to say that, it's like these negative things, they find a way to Please come back. get to you. They find that one weakness. I'm still gonna fight against you tonight and I'm gonna get rid of you tonight. We are here to help this family. We are here to save this family. We just gotta stay focused. Gotta... You will not get to me. We're going to save this family. Watkins. Watkins. I feel like that's what pushes us so hard is because I remember like when we were going through all this stuff. There was nobody there to save us. So that's why it's so important for us to help these families. Pull it together, Josh. Whew, I gotta do this. I do apologize, guys. Okay. Say anything you want. You're leaving tonight. I want you to go. Screw you. You're leaving. We're helping Jason and we're helping Leslie. Tonight is your last night. Tonight their nightmare ends. Do you understand me? Come over here. You come over here. John. I don't know who John is. Crime. I took your best shot. Now I'm ready to do battle. Where am I? So whoever you are, Whatever you are, wherever you came from, I command that you leave this house, you leave this property, and you leave this family. Man, bathroom. Whoa! 
So I have to just flush the toilet. No freaking way. It literally said bathroom and something just flushed the fucking toilet. I've got to get Rock and Sean in here. Holy Dude, that is freaking crazy. I thought I seen something behind me. It said bathroom. So I walked out of the bathroom and it fucking flushed the toilet. Are you kidding me? I downstairs? swear to God. Yeah, downstairs. It goes bathroom, so I went over to the bathroom. And all of a sudden the toilet just and flushes. Here you go in this house of mine. This is like one of the strongest feelings I've ever had. Of just like tightness of the chest. Can't breathe upstairs. Feel like you're about ready to have a heart attack. My heart's like racing right now and I'm just at the front door. Then on top of that, everything that it said so far. It's kind of freaked me out. All right, my name's Rocky. Can you come up and talk to me? You know who I am? I think my voice is very crack. We had an alarm in here. If you set this alarm off, we can communicate. All you gotta do is walk up to it. Set that alarm off. Let me know you're in here with me. I'm not here to hurt you right now. Just here to figure out who you are. You set it off. After we heard it say Swinger Road, I freaking started like, I mean, getting seriously f***ing hot. Well, that's all me and Rocky was talking like, you know. I mean, because we all know exactly how evil works. The only chance I have left to save my home and to save my life. He wants to harm you guys. Bad things are going to happen to you. You're going to die. Burn you, Josh. Holy sh**. It just said freaking burn you, Josh. You're not going to survive tonight. It said you're going to die. <laughs> Whoever you are, get out of here. You're gonna die, 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 die. After the passing of my father, I've been getting deadly sick. I would have bruises in odd places like on my back or my leg. I saw something in my bedroom in the corner. Bad things are gonna happen to you. You're gonna die. I am like so scared. Nobody wants to come here and visit me because of this. The reason why I called you guys here is because the work that you guys do is amazing and you help many families. The only chance I have left to save my home and to save my wife, please help me get whatever is out of here. It said you're going to die. It said you're not going to survive tonight. All I can say is be aware of whatever is in here. I don't know what he's going to do. All I can say is just be careful. God, please watch over them while they are here. Please just get whatever out of here, out of here, because enough is enough. I need a minute, guys. Half devil and half demon. Ever since that night with the Ouija board, why are you here? Say something. Quit being silent. Speak. The only thing I could do to get him to talk is go on the Ouija board. That is the only way he will talk. And the crazy thing is, 
there's a thunderstorm moving in right now. Oh, there was that voice I just heard back there. I'm telling you, I walked in that back room. And I feel like uh, something freaking touched me. Are you touching, Josh? If you came through a Ouija board, do something. Let me know that's you. Come on, coward. I was walking out here. Come forward. We want to know who you are and why you're here. Oh, we keep hearing you. You don't got anywhere to run. Whoa! Sh <laughs> me. I swear it just sounded like a freaking bed moved. Did you just move something? I keep hearing like walking. It's just crazy how I keep hearing <laughs> here and you're hearing it there. But it's something moved in this. Yep. Whoa, air. Something just blew on my neck. Here, you stand on here. Screw this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Oh. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my freaking hip. I did not hit anything. Like right, right when I walked by, something just grabbed hold of my hip. Who are you? We're not here to play games with you. Whoa. Holy I told you. Whoa, alarm, alarm. I got breathing in my ear. Holy shit, I'm like freaking, I'm, I got chills. I'm like shaking right now. You knew we were coming, didn't you? We're here to save Cheryl. You're a freaking coward. Dude, whatever grabbed my hip, that was so freaking hard too. Okay, okay, let's go back in there again. That's what I'm saying. It's the second time you've been freaking touched. Who touched me? Holy s***. What the hell was that? You said somebody was going to die tonight. It's not going to be us. Yeah, that's what's crazy is it kept saying, you know, to her that somebody's going to die. And the fact that somebody has died since we started this case. Yeah, Josh, the footsteps are back again. Are you behind me? You trying to sneak up on us? You like tormenting Cheryl? It is freaking creepy back here. I told you that bedroom, it is like a total different feeling. I hate God. Oh, I hate God. Holy It said, I hate God. Why do you hate God? Betrayed. Who betrayed you? Worthless bitch. Worthless bitch. Who's a worthless bitch? Come on, tell me who's a worthless bitch. I think you're worthless. Possessed. Possessed. That's what we want. Oh, no my. way. That's freaking crazy. Possessed, that's what we want. Is oh, that something, what you're something, something, turn on, go out there, go. Something turned on out there. Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? Not with God on her side. We're having really bad, like, cramps, Josh. It's freaking starting to hurt really bad. Are you trying to right affect Sean? Here. It's freaking hurting bad. It just started. You will not affect us. You're not going to make me leave. Sit down. 
No, I'm not sitting down. You notice when you have it, it talks like crazy. When I had it, it wasn't saying much. Yeah. What are you feeling? I don't know, just like a lot of pain, like right here. It's like freaking here and here. It's like it freaking just keeps going. Talk with me. Are you trying to hurt me? Do you want to step outside? Holy hurts. Now you go outside. Screw this damn thing. Upset. We don't care if you're upset. Okay, you got me alone. Is this what you wanted? Burn you, Josh. Holy sh! It just said freaking burn you, Josh. Oh my gosh, Josh. Come here. You are not going to freaking believe what it just said. It goes, burn you, Josh. Right after you walked out, I started crazy. walking. Crazy. Now you're freaking crazy. Yeah, I think you need to stay in here. But no, it did. It goes, burn you, Josh. I mean, as soon as you freaking step down, it goes. Demon. 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 Device. It's like it didn't want you to leave. My baby. My no. baby. No way. Her ex killed her baby. Are you trying to f with people's emotions? If you're not afraid of me, you're not afraid of God. Say your name. You think you're going to burn me? You will not affect me. We are here to do battle with you, to take you out, to help Cheryl. It's like a light, right? Oh, alarm. Is that you? Hit something back there. It is so f it's mine. Oh, that's mine. It is so fing hot in here. I mean, like, it's got to be like 90 some degrees in here right now. Can you hear her? Yes, I hear her. What is her name? This right here is the spot they did the Ouija board. If you came from the Ouija board, set my alarm off. Oh, alarm. Please listen. <gasps> no way. Loud bang. Said please listen and then a huge freaking bang back there. I'm not afraid of you. You're not going to intimidate me. Tonight you're going to go back to hell where you came from. It is so freaking hot. Do you want to play? I mean, it's the freaking storm. It's coming in hard right now. Yeah, what are we going to play? What are you going to do? What you've been doing is serious. I want to know who you are. Are you trying to possess Cheryl? Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just like little touches. These are big f***ing touches. Tonight you leave this house. Tonight Cheryl's nightmare ends. Watch. What are you going to do? Here. Here. House. House.
right now I'm like super super hot feeling lightheaded I just need to stop for a second You will not affect me. You knew that you wanted to do battle. Tonight we're doing battle on our terms. You gotta push through it. I gotta push through this. I mean, it almost feels like my entire body is on fire. Something just freaking touched me again. Cold spot. Super cold. It is, like I said, it's so fucking hot in It's so hot in here. That is. Tell me your name. Banging. Show yourself. Who are you going to kill? Tell me who you're going to kill. Over here. Something touched me and it said over here. Oh! Jesus. Oh, it's laughing. It touched me and laughed. I'm being surrounded by something. I feel like I'm surrounded. There's more than one of you, aren't there? Dude, my heart. The sh that you feel inside this house is freaking crazy. I've never been touched so much in my freaking life. Thing is, I'm afraid to move out of this one freaking spot. I mean, I'm a freaking. I am sweating to death. I don't know what the frick this thing is doing. Oh, alarm. And the thing is, this freaking alarm right here is one of our newest ones. And it doesn't go off as much as like the REM pods and stuff. So for something to set this freaking alarm off, really validates. I gotta step outside for a minute. Something's not right. Oh God, fight through it. Something's not right. Something keeps touching me. I'm sweating to death. I glanced up in the rearview mirror and there was a black shadow back there in the third seat of the van. Because whatever the hell's going on in this freaking house ain't right. And for what I just saw, it definitely is not freaking right. I'm just ready to go back in there with Josh. It's like you know that you need to step outside for safety. My passion to want to help Cheryl. I just need to stop for a second. I gotta get out of this house. I gotta go. Something's not right. Go 
to hell, Sean. Holy f f you. F you. All. Bitch. You're a f you. Oh my god, I'm not going to fing hell. You are. You're going back where you fing came from. Holy sh this is where I need fing Josh. Oh my god. Come on, where are you at? Show yourself. I got freaking God on my side. You don't have nothing. Have to come through a stupid ass Ouija board. Oh my fing God. I'm... Run. Yeah, I'm not fing running. Holy sh. Won't make my freaking brother feel like Come on. Knock something over now. Freaking cold breeze. Something just blew on the back of my freaking neck. Are you behind me? I don't freaking like this one freaking bit. Yeah, I think I pissed it off. Oh, sh I guess not. Echo box, echo box on the floor. Holy sh. All right, I need it, Josh. This. Josh! Josh! Get your ass in here! Come on! Dude, I'm telling you, I, I pissed this fing thing off bad. But when it said go to hell, and then I started, I told it to go to fing hell. 87 degrees. But I told it to go to fing hell, and it goes, run! I definitely don't feel safe in here by myself no more. And then just what just happened right there when I was telling you about it, and it said right now. Did you have something touch you again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus. Me running. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I mean, that. Wait, shh. I looked over and there was a huge black shadow right there next to the window. Holy let's just get out of here. Look at this. She's pissing it off and it's attacking us. Yeah. Dude, that was so loud. I swear to God, I looked over there and there was a mass. Something hit this window. Is that recording? What? That GoPro. I wonder if I got it. Where's the GoPro at? Right here's us. See, yeah, it's recording the blue light. Oh, I bet you ain't recording. I bet you should. It was recording. Oh, 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 Mount Julia police say a mother did not know an 18 year old man was living in her attic and would come down into her 14 year old daughter's room at night. Unknown to the mother, I've been living in the attic, only coming down into the room of the mother's 14 year old daughter at night. Daddy monster and mommy monster, they hurt us, they hit us, they lay on us constantly when we're sleeping. She called me and said somebody was in the house, so I called the cops and they came and searched and nobody was here. Who or what is inside this house? Whoa, down, downstairs. We moved here August 4th. When we moved in, I've called the cops twice, thinking somebody's in here. We just started hearing voices and things moving, doors opening. A friend of mine was here and she was cleaning. She was up in the bedroom and she called me and said somebody was in the house. So I called the cops 
and they came and searched and nobody was here. She wouldn't ever come back. My daughter sees on my youngest daughter. I have three and they all have things happening to them. My son has dreams that somebody slits his throat. She'll be like, Mom, there's a baby crying. And she'll point like up towards the attic saying there's babies up there crying. Daddy monster and mommy monster, they hurt us. She says they hit us, they lay on us and go like this and beat us constantly when we're sleeping. This room in here is the first room that I heard them. There's a lot of spirits here. They've got to be coming in one way or another. I was sleeping in that room one night and I could hear a guy running. He's like, I'm going to run my runs for the night. So he come up running up the steps and I sat up in bed to see who it was and he stopped at the top of the steps and turned around and went back down. You'll hear things come from the attic down. I'm not going in the attic. You guys can. I'll tell you, this house has got like a very conjuring house vibe. The upstairs is like crazy creepy. So up here is where a lot of the kids have been affected. And it seems like whatever's in this house, of course the parents here, but the youngest kids that seems to be affecting, these bedrooms are like a little creepy. So I'm on the second floor right now. Right now I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the house before it gets completely dark out. You gotta think, this family literally left this house almost a month ago and have not been back inside this house because whatever is inside this house is affecting this family so bad. Scaring the children, hurting the children, scaring the mother to where she's had to call the police because she thought somebody broke into her house. So we need to figure out tonight who or what is inside this house and why are they affecting this family. That attic gives me like the creeps. And there's no way I'm going up there by myself right now. I mean, that's the first thing when I came upstairs and was over by this attic, I immediately thought conjuring. Hello? Did you hit something up there? I almost want to leave a camera up here while we're setting stuff up. Oh. Sound like a piece of furniture moved. This upstairs is so creepy, like I'm afraid to investigate right now. sit here for a second. I want to be close to the stairs because if something happens, I want to be able to get the hell out of this house. Who did I hear talking? We're going to be here tonight to talk to you to find out why you're here why you're affecting this family. Okay, I'm gonna go out with Rocky and Sean. I'm gonna leave some toys and stuff up here and let this record and see if we get any audio or if anything happens. I have alarms set up in this house. If you'd like to communicate with me, you can walk up to them and they'll go off. It'll let me know that you're the, where you're at. I 
I just heard walking. Can you walk up to one of my alarms? I just heard you. Okay, from in there, so I guess let's venture in here. Oh my god, it's so freaking dark. Like going in room to room or anything, it feels like I'm on a nail in my head. Many, many years ago, that this place was investigated. Can you tell me why? Moaning. Holy. That is so freaking dark. Yeah, I got a lot of cameras. Tell you what, this room that I'm about ready to go in, this is a room I really do not like. Clothes in here. Oh! Jesus! Okay. Thank you. Do you not like me being in here? Holy Oh! I knew this working bedroom. Man, I don't know. There's an upstairs to this place and I socially do not think I can do it. Is it the old women that are in here? I wish I knew your name. Do you like that music box? My body is freaking shaking right now. Footsteps behind me. Am I safe? Okay. Tell you. <gasps> what? Hey, oh my. Okay, calm down. Okay, I'm out. Okay? Josh, this music box is going nuts. Get in here. Okay, we're awake. Holy. Hurry the f up! Holy Yeah, I can't. I seriously can't do this. I'm telling you, I feel like it's so dark in this place. Maybe it's me, I don't know, but I can't even freaking move. I don't even know which way to freaking go. Yeah, I can't. There ain't no freaking way. Rocky said he heard something loud in here. Who was that, Governor? Can you make that loud noise again? We're going to be leaving shortly. I go, can you set the kitchen table? And a little kid goes, table! That was nuts. I mean, plain as day. Who just said that? Can you go set the kitchen table? Can you talk to me again? Oh, it's on the floor. Or no, that's the piano. Are you the one that was just talking to me? Look how small it is. Josh gonna walk over to you, okay? Yep, right away. Okay, yeah, just stay in there for a second. Can you come back? Josh it came back. Oh man, it's up on it's crawling on you! Holy cow. It's dude, it just went away. Oh my god, it's you and it. It's sitting right beside you again. Oh, your foot. Yeah, it crawled on you, now it's back down. 
Are you the child that Sean heard? Its head's like heading over your leg. Can you touch me? I just did. Put your hand out, Josh. Can you reach up and touch Josh's hand? Let's go. What the f Who was that? Don't mess with the kid, I guess. All the chairs are in the same spot. Cabinet doors are open. Were those open earlier? Uh, yeah. Who did we just hear? Really appreciate you guys. Really appreciate you guys. I can't believe it. You really stuck to it. That's just crazy. 10 years. Is that you that I'm hearing? Pay attention. I'm trying to say this carefully. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God. The alone part um, bothers me. Um, I'd be, I'd be careful. Oh. Appears to have a predatorial feel to it. And now it's here, so maybe I need to leave. There's something hidden in the well. Did you die in this house? I just heard a huge loud bang. It's not quite dark yet. This house is so freaking scary. I'm kinda nervous about being here when it does get dark. Okay, we'll let that record for a little bit. It's not quite dark yet. That house is gonna be so freaking creepy when it gets dark out. The house has been completely empty. I've just been sitting outside here. So we'll get ready to head inside real quick, review the audio see what we may have gotten, and just go from there. Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar with the Monroe house, that's the house right there behind me that I'll be at tonight. This house is scary as hell during the day, so I can't imagine being here all night. Lock the gate so nobody gets in. I'm gonna lock this door so nobody can come in. And then after we listen to this, we're going to Whoa! Door just moved. I know. Oh sh something's up there. Sean. It just said my freaking name. Punish. Sean. Holy that's the second time this thing has said my name. No way. It's coming. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 